Hello everybody, Stinky Scrublet here, and today I'm going to be talking about trading long and short on the Solana network. And the reason I prefer to do it on the Solana network uh, is because of the speed and of the how, how cheap using Solana is. Um, if you would use Bitcoin or ETH, it would be slow and quite expensive if you swapped on ETH before, uh, especially now the transaction costs are insane. So on Jupiter, um, I'll have a link in the description and it'll take you to this page, which is the page to do short and long trading on leverage. So once you're here, you're going to need to connect your browser wallet of choice. I'm currently using uh, Phantom, but it doesn't really matter which one you want to use. I'm just familiar with Phantom. Whatever you want to use, go ahead. And then once you're here, you'll connect your wallet and you can start trading. So let's talk a little bit about longing and shorting. Uh, maybe you are already aware of how it works, but let's say I put in 0.01, I'm a whale, I'm gonna bet a huge $1.25. Um, you can see some things here, you know, you have your slider for leverage, and I wanna talk a little bit about that. So as you can see, if I'm betting on 1.1 leverage, which who would do that? We're trying to degen and win a lot of money. But you can see down here, the liquidation price is insanely low. You can see that um, Solana is 125 right now, and I would not be liquidated until uh, it got down to $11.71, which is insane because it hasn't been that cheap in over a year. Um, and then you'll also notice that the open fee is very cheap, very cheap here. It's not even a penny. But if I move that slider all the way up, you'll notice the open fee is a lot higher because I'm trading with a hundred times more than I'm actually uh, than I actually have. So you can see that the open fee is now 11 cents. Um, and then you can also see that the liquidation price is only about a dollar under what the current price is so you can be liquidated very quickly so i would look at what your um, risk tolerance is you might want to go lower as you can see you know even at 50 it's still a liquidation price that could be hit quite easily um so you might be more comfortable going with 20 dollars or sorry 20 times leverage because you look it looks like you wouldn't you probably wouldn't hit that um right away at least um so at 100x you there's a good chance that you will hit your liquidation price pretty quickly if you're not paying attention but that's what we're going to do here just for an example uh so we're going to go long with a whole one dollar and see what happens and then i can also show you some other things once <clears throat> the transaction goes through it should only take a few seconds so as you can see, I have the long, and look, we're already up two cents. Everybody party. But there's something important here. Um, look, I'm already, see, it's already dropping a little bit. But as you can see, that look how close that long liquidation is. It could happen in this video, and this is going to be a short video. But if it hits this mark, all the money that I put in for this long bet will be liquidated and it's gone you can't get it back but if you don't want to actively look at it um, you can set take profit and stop loss prices so basically top uh take profit is you know if it hits 130 i want to take profit and i would make 333 percent on that if it hits that and i could also say um, if it hits 125, I want it to end. I don't want to take any more losses. So right as I'm down 74 cents, um, it's going to get me out of the trade. So I won't be losing the full amount. I, I'm playing with a dollar here, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but that's how you would do it. Um, so, you know, you could set it and forget it kind of thing. Um, because I've had longs and shorts where it's doing pretty well you know 
And then I had to go to the bathroom or something, come back, liquidated. You don't want that to happen. But um, as you can see, the long's doing pretty good. Um, that's about it as far as that goes. There is closing costs as well. The longer you hold the, the long, you will have um, more fees. So as you can see, there's 76 cents here um, in fees. So be wary of that. You know, if you hold a long for a long time, which I am actually doing on another wallet, you can notice that the fees go up over time. So the longer you hold it, the more fees. Uh, you kind of want to make sure that you're not getting to a point where you know, the coin isn't going up enough uh, to really want to keep accruing those fees, uh, kind of like of diminishing returns. But as you can see, I'm up 17.72%. Uh, it's obviously nothing. Okay, now it's down to 8%. Um, but if that was real money, 8%, I'd be happy with. But it's only a dollar, so I don't really care what happens to it. But uh, I hope this was informational. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to read charts, because uh, this is not a long that I would take here. Um, I don't really, <laughs> I don't have the best fundamentals when it comes to reading charts or when to start a long. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you guys make some buco bucks or something. Uh, that'd be sweet. But if you have any questions or anything, I'm not a pro on this, but uh, it's a fun thing to do, you know. Try it out. Like I like I was saying, I I'm, I'm only doing a dollar here, so I would recommend maybe doing at least two or three um, really really cheap um, trades on here, just to get familiar with it, uh, get comfortable with it. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.